welcome back we're talking about the sephora sale it's happening a little bit sooner this year than normal so i saw this thing pop up on instagram and it says the sephora sale starts on october 27th and i think that's like a little bit early this year so i was like i need to start budgeting which means you guys probably need to start budgeting too because with the holidays around the corner this is when i really spend money because I end up saving money in the long run because if I get the gifts now, I get 20% off or even 30% off if I do the Sephora um, brand. It is nice too, by the time it's December, I'm not spending so much in that month. It's nice to kind of um, divide the Christmas spending into like October, November, December. So I want to start with my favorite blush combo. Um, I've been wearing these for almost a month now. Some of these products I've had longer than others, but my favorite blush combo at the moment is the tower 28 cream blush in the color office hours this is just a really nice berry toned cream blush and i'm wearing it today paired with my dior rosy glow blush in the color rosewood this just makes me so happy so if there's anything you're gonna pick up during the sale i recommend get this little combo you will not regret it if you have a similar skin tone to me i think i blacked out at the patrick ta counter so have a deeper skin tone than me i really recommend the she's wanted blush i go in really lightly with this but oh my goodness it's just ugh. So it has the cream shade on top and then the powder on the bottom. This blush makes me want to go ice skating and just look extra rosy and cold. It's so, so pretty. That would just be so gorgeous on any sort of skin tone that's my shade or darker. And then for my shade and lighter, I think these are both the new shades in his line. But the She's Blushing is just a really pretty peachy nude blush. What I really love about these blushes is that the cream is meant to wear as a topper and they just bring the life back to your face and make your blush last all night. They hold up so well. So if you're somebody where your blush doesn't last, if you're working all day, these are really, really good. I also picked up a liner in the shade She's Strong. So that's just a really nice brown shade. I'm a little unsure about the application of it. You click the bottom and then... I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things, the more you use it, it gets um, a little bit more sharp and easier to use, but I'm going to have to practice with this one. I also picked up, this is a silky lip cream in the color She's Unapologetic, another really gorgeous nude. I have a feeling this will sell out really quickly during the sale. It's nice to keep a comfortable lip in your bag. So, oh yeah, that is so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I want to put that on. That lip liner with this lip cream, that is a good combo. I also just love to keep like a nice comfortable lip product in my purse. Ever since I was on Accutane, my lips have never been the same, but I like to keep a nice creamy lip product in my bag because sometimes, even with exfoliating them, sometimes they'll just still get kind of like really dry during the night. And then of course, the new Major Dimension 3 palette. This will definitely sell out during the sale, so make sure you get your hands on this early. You get a row of those warm tones and then the cool tones on the bottom. And I did challenge myself today to not use any other palette but this one, and I really like how it turned out. So yeah, these are super pigmented, really blendable. He has such a good eyeshadow formula. Hopefully they'll still have this during the sale, but I love picking up the limited edition Sol de Janeiro body sprays just because once they're gone, they're gone, and I just think it's fun to keep them. Um, the After Hours one just smells a lot like Black Opium. It's more of like a nighttime perfume, unlike the rest of their line, which is usually more of like a daytime. Next, from Hourglass, I have these two face palettes. Now, these are really expensive, but they will last you the rest of your life. Like, I dare you to try to go through one of these. Just look at them. They're so beautiful. I swear every year they get better and better and better. So this one's the leopard one and this one is the snake one. So this one has colors that are just a little bit deeper than the leopard. My favorite, favorite powder, if you don't want to get the whole um, kit, just getting the either dim light or radiant light um, finisher. That's what I put all over my face when I'm done. This gives you that like candlelit glow, like your skin is so, so healthy. The blushes it comes with is mood exposure and ethereal flush. And it also comes with lustrous bronze light. 
yeah so i think these will probably sell out too so make sure you're quick with these ones if you do want to get your hands on them even if you just want to pick up a mini one of radiant light or dim light you can just take your brush and um disperse it throughout the brush and just use it all over your face i don't even use them as highlights i use them as like a glowy finish and then two concealers i picked up um, I got the Makeup by Mario Concealer. This one's really, really creamy and watery. And then because I love my House Labs foundation, I had to pick up the House Labs Triclone Concealer because the way that that foundation feels like skincare, I'm like, that's, it's just got to be good under my eyes. I did get the wrong shade though. So I got the shade 12 Light Rosy and it's just way too light. So I'm going to go back and get a different shade. Yeah. I might be able to mix that with something but i would rather just have one shade darker maybe so yeah that's the shade 12 light rosy but it is so smooth i can already tell this blends really well and i have a feeling it might be one of my new favorite concealers i also picked up the laura mercier weightless perfecting foundation i love a nice frosted bottle and i just thought this might be nice for every day when i don't want to wear a lot of makeup yeah it just has a really liquidy formula which i like um i got the shade two and buff obviously i've been using this but um i picked up the makeup by mario concealer brush the f5 concealer brush and it's slanted so it just gets in under your eye um, I love brushes like this because I like to get my concealer as close to my nose contour to really just snatch everything. My best friend Emily got me hooked on the lipstick haze from Anastasia. I really like the formula. It's like a satin finish so it's really comfortable on the lips but they have a new shade called Honey Taupe. Yeah, so there it is and that's just a really pretty cool toned new i just like to always have a comfier lipstick on hand when i'm gonna be around people and talking and i don't want to get insecure that my lips look dry i picked up a mini milk bronzer stick in the shade dazed i just thought that okay i think the top got messed up so i might have to go exchange it but i just thought this would be perfect for putting my nose contour i love putting contour right here and then up by my brow to just lift my face up more things i actually forgot to mention so i have the cool brown lip liner from anastasia which i am wearing today um i mentioned this in my fall favorites it has a bunch of flat surfaces around it so it makes application really easy not the best at swatching but it's a really nice cool tone brown i picked up a milk lip and cheek blush in the shade enigma and this is just another nice rosy blush shade. On vacation, there's something about like having very soft makeup at the beach where you just have like concealer, a little bit of blush, and then the same color on your lip. And then from Makeup by Mario, I picked up the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum Balm in the shade Nude Glow. I have been eyeing this since spring. I pressed way too hard and now I have so much product on my hand. But... Ooh, I love how shiny that is. I feel like that would just make your lips look so juicy. Okay, that's everything for the haul. I like to shop for myself, but I especially like to get ahead of my Christmas shopping. So they have such good gift sets and I already went through. Oh, I wasn't sure if I should break this into different videos, but I kind of just want it all in one spot. I feel like that makes it a little bit easier. I might do like a vlog of shop with me or I might do like a get ready with me of my everyday routine. Other than that, I just want it all in one little spot. It's almost easier to just buy a bunch of like gift sets and then by November you kind of see like if you already bought gifts for someone, you have a month to return stuff. But it's better to get the stuff while it's 20% off and just return if you need to and then not have to keep looking. It's just like a nice little cushion to have for yourself. So think ahead. If you ever see the Sephora sampler with low ratings, it's usually because people don't understand how it works. I always get one of these samplers because um, the value is 167 and then the cost is 85 and then you get the 20% off. So what does that make it? Like 60, so that makes it like 65 bucks for a perfume. And last year I got my boyfriend the Tom Ford Ombre Leather Perfume. If you're looking online, if you click on the item's details, it will tell you uh, the size that you get the full size of. Last year I paid the $60 for the set and then I didn't even give him the set. I took the coupon and redeemed it for the full size. So you get, I think it was like a 1.7 ounce and that retails for 155. So 
you get a hundred fifty dollar cologne for sixty dollars wrap it up and then you can open it and see like the full bottle it comes with the travel bag so i just filled that up with like um, deodorant and toiletries so it makes a really good gift if you have a man in your life your dad your grandpa your boyfriend anyone like that also this year they have um, one of the perfumes I mentioned in my fall favorites they have the new black opium le parfum they usually come with around a one ounce size and honestly I'm happy with a one ounce because by the time that I almost finish it, I'm usually kind of over the perfume anyway. Another example, the one ounce of the YSL Le Parfum is $100, so you're getting it for $60. And also, always check if one of your favorite perfumes are in that set because it just it's just such a good deal. Last year, my favorite gift set that I got for myself, I got it for my best friends. I believe it's pronounced Jisoo, not sure. But that set makes your hair look so healthy and shiny. I really, really love the oil that it came with. And I also really enjoyed the leave-in conditioner. This year, they have a set that has that viral lip gloss or the lip oil. And I've been wanting to try that. So, so the hair oil is usually $46 and the lip oil is usually $32. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's called the Honey Glow Icons Best Sellers Gift Set. It retails for $146 seven and then it's ninety eight dollars so that makes it seventy eight yeah this is one of those gift sets i just really recommend for yourself because it will bring your hair back to life if you're struggling with damaged hair i feel like the best value set to pick up during the sale is anything from sol de janeiro but they have this brazilian bum bum body obsession kit which retails for 101 and you get it for 68 and that makes it like 50 dollars, so it's half off I like that it comes in a big box and it's fun to open. So with this set, you get an 8-ounce Bum Bum Cream, a 3-ounce um, Perfume Mist, a 3-ounce Moisturizing Shower Gel, a 3-ounce Bum Bum Body Scrub, and a 0.3-ounce Oil. So you pretty much get your whole shower routine for $50. I think that's a really nice gift for somebody who doesn't go to Sephora very often to kind of just treat them to something they wouldn't usually get themselves. But Sol de Janeiro has so many good sets this year. Maybe for yourself, if you like the brand, they have this huge set um, that you might want to put on a wish list. It is still pricey because that one's $200, but you get a lot of stuff. And then they have the pink scent. If you're trying to stay around $20, it's so cute. It comes with a 1.7 ounce cream, so a little cream. And you get a 3 ounce body wash and a 1 ounce mist. For 10 more dollars, they do have the option of doing the full size if you want to have the full size. Um, that's $48. Another little easy thing to pick up, they have the La Octane um, little hand creams. They also have a Summer Fridays lip balm butter set. Both of those come in three packs. The La Octane little hand cream set is so cute and everybody uses hand cream that's a great thing that you could pick up just to kind of have that cushion if you forget <laughs> to get somebody a gift and then the summer fridays lip balm set it comes with three different lip balms um it has that vanilla one i think let's see yeah it comes with cherry vanilla and iced coffee and then the other hair brand that i really enjoy is the brand day they have a shine bright hair set that comes with a 10 ounce shampoo and conditioner and then a six ounce hair gloss treatment if you're trying to like grow your hair out you really want to use sulfate free paraben free shampoo and conditioner i don't know if you can tell but their packaging is also really pretty and makes a nice gift so another little set that i get every year is the laneige midnight mini set what I like about these is I have a lot of little purses and I like that they're just little mini sizes. They fit in all my purses. So I bought multiple sets last year, one for me, some for my friends. And then I also bought an extra one just to open and put in some of my friends' gifts just as like a nice little extra bonus gift. Um, that way they can try the mask if they've never tried it before. And if you've never tried a Laneige mask, it takes a while to go through them. So even the little one lasts like a good enough amount of time for me. It comes with a lot of really good scents as well. My favorite is the gummy bear and the mint choco, but it also comes with berry, sweet candy, and mango. There's no gender on skincare, but I know a lot of men are particular that they don't want certain packaging. So the Kiehl's has like pretty gender neutral packaging and they have a winter set that comes with um, a cleanser and a toner. The cleanser it comes with is one of my favorites. Um, when I used to do bottle service, I was wearing a lot of makeup all the time, and it's one of the only cleansers that really breaks down your makeup without a bomb. Um, and then I haven't used the toner, but it has really great reviews. Um, and then the other skincare brand I love is anything from the Vino Perfect line from Caudalie. 
So it has niacinamide and squalene, which are just so great for your skin. Now that I'm 28, I'm like, I think I'm ready to start getting some Botox, but um, I think one thing that's really helped preserve my skin is just really researching ingredients. I always use retinol growing up, vitamin C, um, and I started using this Caudalie uh, Revertisol Lift at a young age. I just, I can't say enough good things about this cream. It's an anti-aging daily moisturizer to firm, lift, and reduce the look of fine lines. They have two patents, one that's supposed to be like a vitamin C but more potent, and then they have an alternative for retinol. I know it's not fun to spend money on skincare, but if you're like 20, I'm telling you, just try to rip the band-aid and get a good skincare routine because your future self will thank you so much. And then some makeup gift sets. The Rare Beauty blush gift set. She usually has limited edition colors and the little tiny ones are so cute. Her stuff is so pigmented. I've never ran through even my favorite one of the little minis that I have from her and they're really easy to travel with too, which I love. Switching to no phone case because I think this looks so much nicer. Ooh, and then I'm just going to quickly go over some stuff that's on my wish list. I want to try one of the Gwen Stefani Sparkle Eyeshadows. I put down the color Twinkle. That looks really pretty. Um, Milk Makeup has a set of two cream blushes for $25. The Sol de Janeiro deodorant always seems to sell out, so I'm going to try to be quick this year and get my hands on the deodorant. I pick up more Patrick Ta blushes because he has the best blushes in the world. Day also has a holiday styler set that has, I think, like a leave-in conditioner and a styling cream. Like oils, my favorite oil for when my hair is dry is the Verb Ghost Oil because it doesn't weigh down your hair and it just adds a lot of shine. Um, a perfume that I want to pick up is the Killian Princess Perfume, but the Off Fresh version. I have the original Princess Perfume, which is like a green tea and marshmallow scent, but this one has Bergamot. Bergamot just helps kind of freshen it up and make it more of like a summer perfume, so it's a little bit more fizzy, um, almost a little bit more citrusy. I live in Arizona, so I think that would be really nice um, for the heat. Okay, I have been wanting to try the Color Wow treatment. They have the anti-frizz hair set. Um, it's $28. Every time I want to try this is when I'm going on a trip. So I'm always like, oh, I'll just wait and get the big size. So having the full size and the mini would be really, really nice. Okay, it comes with a 6.7 ounce Supernatural Spray treatment. And then, okay, and then it comes with a mini. So a travel size and a full size. Oh yeah, I'm 100% getting This is the Smooth Dream Kit from Glow Recipe. Okay, so this has a 0.5 ounce Strawberry Smooth BHA and HAA Serum, and it has um, a 0.33 ounce Pore Smooth Blur Drops. So they're just little minis, but ooh, I'm definitely gonna try that because I like to have um, something that's BHA and HA to kind of just help with cell turnover. Um, the Polish Choice is the one I usually use, but to switch it up, I want to try this one. The Sephora collection has a hot cocoa lift sleeping mask. I'm going to buy a bunch of these to gift my friends, and I really want this too, because it's going to be 30% off of $5. I also plan on picking up the little holiday lash stash um, mascara set. My mom's not into makeup, but she loves mascara, so I always get her some sort of mascara set. Um, last year, I got her the Benefit set because it came with three full-size mascaras, and they will have that in store this year if you're shopping in store. Other than that, I really don't plan on getting much for myself other than maybe some blush because I love blush. Yeah, for myself, I pretty much just plan on getting the Sol de Janeiro deodorant, the Sephora Hot Cocoa Lip Mask. I might pick up another thing of oil from Jisoo that... Killian Princess perfume. So my favorite leave-in conditioner is between the Oribe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream and the Jisoo Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. I think I like the Jisoo one a little bit more. It's just, this line makes your hair so shiny, but both of these are really, really good and they both smell amazing. If it's been a while since you've had your hair cut or your hair just looks really dry, the Jisoo oil will do wonders for your hair. And when I get out of the shower, I really like the Caudalie Divine Oil. It's for your body, face, and hair. I like that it's an oil that comes in a spray and it smells like honey. It reminds me of the smell of Paris. When I was working at Baskin Robbins. I saved up all my money so I could go back with my best friend Florence to Paris. And this smell just reminds me of that trip. Having an oil that sprays out. If you don't want to spend this much, there's also an Amazon grapeseed oil. But this one's just really luxurious and smells amazing. Um, if I have a special event coming up, the day before I put on fake tan, I make sure I really hydrate and get oil all over my body so that when I apply 
fake tan the next night it just it applies so much better another good hair oil is the day prickly pear hair oil i like that this one's clear so if you're a blonde um this one costs less too so i just feel like i can really overdo it and get it all throughout my hair because it is a little bit more affordable um i feel like with the jisu i have to be like all right this is like 50 dollars. let's not overdo it the day oil i can be like put it all through my hair um but yeah this one's really good too and i think this one might be like half the price don't quote me on it though oh and also if you're a blonde the purple shampoo that i use is the oloplex blonde enhancer shampoo i use this maybe like once a month i don't know why but buying the merch from my favorite podcasts and youtubers just makes me feel like a little kid again so go redheads my two favorite hair masks are the oloplex four-in-one moisture mask and then I also really like this Oribe Gold Lust Mask. This makes your hair so shiny. My best friend Abby recommended this and actually gifted me this for my birthday one year. And it's so good. It's what I use today to slick my hair back. Um, it just makes your hair so shiny. When I feel like my split ends need to be repaired, the Oloplex 4-in-1 Moisture Mask is just really good for hydrating and bringing my hair back to life. So both of these are amazing my favorite mask from sephora look how beat up this is i don't play around when i'm just trying to get my mask on i used this last night but this is the instant free pore clearing clay mask so it's a volcanic aha pore clearing clay mask anytime i feel like my skin just needs some extra love like if i was wearing makeup all day or if my skin just feels like it needs to be cleared out this mask just makes my skin feel so much cleaner i always keep the little plastic part on the top so that it doesn't dry out it's just like a nice clay mask and it's only 15 dollars. this would make a good stocking stuffer um but yeah you get how much you get three ounces for 15 dollars. so it's really affordable for a sephora mask if i have an event coming up where i just want my skin to look extra bright and glowy i use the tatcha violency radiance mask it's just this purple mask i use this in one of the vlogs i just posted and it just it makes your skin so smooth and soft and vibrant if you have really dry sensitive skin um this moisturizer from topicals it has turmeric and it's just super hydrating and calming and almost kind of like a gel it's just really comfortable on the skin i always get those little laneige lip masks i have a bunch of these this one is i think lemon lemon sherbet moving into my makeup favorites this might be a little bit of like a speed round of favorites since my son's here with me and I don't know how long he'll last being calm. But maybe that's good. I'm not going to like babble. Every video that I post, I'm always wearing the House Labs. It's my favorite foundation. It has three different silicones. It's really comfy. But if I want like a bold look, I always mix in my Hourglass Ambient Glow Foundation in the shade eight I also like adding this when i have more of a tan i love the hourglass vanish concealer i get the shade pearl this will literally just hide everything i use this for zits i use it for my under eyes and then if i want my skin to look really smooth in person the best concealer is the nars radiant concealer and i have the shade macadamia my favorite cream contours this one's really beaten up but i love the huda beauty um tantor in the shade light the light shade is still really good for me when I'm fake tanned and it's supposed to be waterproof. It does stay on really well and has the perfect amount of warmth to it. And then I also have the By Mario Medium Soft Sculpt Stick. I have that much left. That's how much I've used it. What I love it for the most is um, after I'm done with my face makeup, I use it as like a lip liner because it's really easy to apply. I just apply it to the parameter of my lips and then I kind of go like this and it almost smudges a little bit past my lips to make them look bigger and then when i go in with lip liner i know where like how far i can go if that makes sense um yeah and i just love how this shade of brown looks on my lips uh, most of the time i like to use this on my face and this on my lips which is really random but it's like a little trick if you want to make your lips look a little bit bigger i was facetiming my dad the other night after filming and he was like did you get your lips done and i was like nope just makeup my favorite bronzer from sephora is the hourglass radiant bronze light i'm wearing that today as well it's like a mineral finish so it's really glowy and adds a nice warmth to your skin i love applying powder with my beauty blender little i don't even know what this is called it's like a little flat sponge i love how this gets in under your eyes and around your nose okay i just went in with more blush this is one of my most used favorite blushes from gucci 
Um, I've dropped this so many times and it's never shattered and it's in the shade 03 Radiant Pink. I just want to quickly touch on three palettes. Number one for my face, previously Kat Von D, I think now it's KVD, um, the Contour Shade and Light Palette. Unfortunately, they do break easily, um, but I mainly use those two bronzer shades they blend better than anything i've ever used they're so finely milled and they blend out so well and then i love having the highlights in there as well those highlights just make your under eye look really really smooth especially if you want like that smooth blur with your blush my go-to eyeshadow palettes are the naked heat palette almost every single video that i film i'm wearing this and they don't look that like warm they just really suit my skin tone i did challenge myself today to only use the patrick ta the new palette that i um showed in my haul so this is the first eyeshadow palette that you came out with and i really like mixing that shade with this shade over here for my lid and then it has some really great mattes as well every now and then i'll go in with some of those darker shimmers and put them like in the outer almost crease and it just makes your eyes look really sultry so that's everything i hope you enjoyed and please let me know if you have any sort of recommendations at all I'll probably do a vlog of like come with me to sephora and i will definitely make a list of anything if you guys have recommendations and yeah that is everything and i will see you in the next video Mwah.